Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Star Wars Visions. Last time on Star Wars Visions, we had Lop and Ocho, where basically, uh, years ago, this little girl adopted a bunny girl sister, and then they both grew up. The little girl became an imperialist and evil, while the bunny girl became a bunny woman i've already made this weird and then uh the two of them fought and then uh the imperialist sister left and that was just kind of that um yeah and people that enjoy lop are totally not furries oh who am i kidding yeah we are let's just go ahead and get right into this the last episode of star wars visions here we go Science Saru presents Akakiri. We've had Science Saru before. Oh, the drummer's going nuts. Lightsaber? Yep. A very interesting design. A bit simple, but ooh. Ooh, I like how it kind of fades around. No, not again. Hmm. Ow! Oh, jeez. Watch where you're aiming. Stop! Don't attack the people trying to help you. Ah, you're finally awake, Super. Oh, God, Skyrim. Miss Lady Misa, who is your strange friend? He's a Jedi. He helped us five years ago when we were attacked by Orochi. Yeah. Oh, shit. Jedi traveled all the way here by himself? Seems kind of suspicious. It's pretty sus. Misa, do they really need to be here? <laughs> We can't even fend off wild to good cats. <laughs> well, they're good company. Why do we need guys to lead us back to your palace? Things have changed. There are checkpoints everywhere. I am in exile and now cannot even get close to the palace. But they better not get in the way. Stop! They'll hear you! <laughs> You're not scared, are you, Jedi? It's a protection song against evil spirits. <laughs> I like these guys. Because no one who has entered has ever returned. We can't. Impossible. We've no choice. Let's go. Stop. You'll be cursed. No, I won't go. Fine. I'll add 300 credits. That's just 500. Deal. Deal. All right. Good job, guys. You're going to get cursed for 500 credits. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Just a bit of rain. We have to go back. No. If we do, we lose you too. Let me go. It's hopeless. It's his destiny to die. This is divine punishment. Aww. Ridiculous. Nothing is predestined. Go on. I'll find you later. Subaki. Oh man. Pulling a you say. Fuck destiny. Oh, look at this nice place. Hey. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Dune, on Arrakis. I'd love to if I could, but I'm still working. It sounds Call like Hector working. from Castlevania. Jedi work? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, this guy's a Jedi? Why are you out here, really? Just thinking about bringing stability and peace to this world. This isn't. What it would take no, to it's do not it. the two of them. Obviously. Unless that was a flashback. Ah, oh, it's a flashback. About it too. About what I can do. I'm stupid. Well, well, princess. Hi. Did you think that by ah. bringing a Jedi, you'd be able to avenge your pitiful father? Whoop. I thought that didn't work. You are to leave this planet right now and never return. Is this a taste of that Jedi benevolence? Hmm. Whoop! Wait, was her was hers double sided or am I going insane? Okay, I'm going insane. I think it's the after the after effect. You have talent, but you lack technique. Oh no! If you allow it to the dark side will awaken the true power that lies within you. You will uh -huh. me, it is written. 
It is your destiny. <laughs> Uh, what? Help me save her, my master. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that worked. Boy, Anakin probably wishes he had had that. What did you do, Tabaki? I did what had to be done. gonna end here. Is that... <laughs> well, that fucking sucked. <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's that's the last of it. The last uh, episode of Star Wars Visions. All right, then. Uh, all right. Henry Golding voiced Subaki. Let's see what we got here. Nothing? Okay, next. Uh... Jamie Chung voiced Misa. Misa Misa. Oh, I, I totally know who the fuck this is. I don't know why I said it like that, but... Yeah, okay. Well, first off, I will fully admit that the first thing I've ever seen Jamie Chung in was Dragon Ball Evolution, where she played Chi-Chi. She was a fucking great Chi-Chi, I must say. But in terms of other stuff I've seen her in... uh. Uh, where the, where the hell is, uh, The Gifted? I know she was that. Oh, in Once Upon a Time, she played Mulan. You know what? If I, if you were going to cast anyone to be Mulan, that's pretty good. That's, she was also Valerie Vale on Gotham. And then, uh, she was Blink on The Gifted. Yeah. Yeah. Lorraine Toussaint voiced, uh, Masago. Let's see. Nope. Okay. So, not exactly a, an episode to remember people. So, or to recognize people. That's okay. Well, we recognize Jamie Chung. And you know what? That's at least one. I know we've looked up Science Saru before the studio. Can't remember if we recognize them from anything. I'm going to say probably not. So, I don't even remember what episode that was. So, yeah. Though I want to say that was T.O.B. 1. I don't know. Okay. So. That happened. Um, okay, so we got Tsubaki, a Jedi, going to help Misa. Uh, because her, her aunt became a Sith. And then they go on this journey, and then uh, he accidentally kills Misa. Then the dark side quite easily brings her back to life, and then he has joined the dark side. With some comedic guides along the way. Okay, um, well, I like the guides. Uh, I thought they were funny, um... Yeah, I like them. Uh, they had the whole thing of the place of gods, but where they lost uh, one of them. They lost one of them, but then, uh, but then he just went back and got him, and that was that. Um, he kept having this vision, I guess of he had the vision of killing Misa which 
great job. That vision did nothing for you because it ended up happening anyway. Uh, there was the flashback to him, to the two of them when they were younger, which was interesting. Um, and then, yeah, they keep talking about destiny, but he says there is no destiny, but and there kind of is, like... Like, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it reminds me... And this is the dumbest reference I could make, but... Uh, <laughs> in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I know, a very interesting reference to go with. But one thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! is it always talks about destiny. And to a comedic degree, honestly. But then, in the third series, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, just in the middle, the main character is like, There is no destiny! And it's like... Wait, what? This isn't on brand. So it just kind of reminded me of that. It's like everyone keeps talking about destiny and stuff. And it's like, it's like, oh, it's his destiny to die in that place. And then Tsubaki goes and gets him anyway. And then it's it, it'll be your destiny to fall to the dark side. And, and it did. He, he did. So. Yeah. And yeah, so I mean, he kept having these visions, he tried fighting it, but then the vision came true anyway, because in the minute that, like, they quickly rushed, so how does this make sense? So they quickly rushed her out of there, dressed her up, and then sent her in front of him. And then he, yeah, he fulfilled the self-fulfilling prophecy, he kills her, and then that's just that. And then he uses the dark side to bring her back, somehow. And then he goes off because he has a new master. And that's that's where it ends. I. Okay. Um. I like the art style. It's it's an interesting story on paper. You could have made that a little bit longer than fifteen minutes. Not even fifty. That's maybe twelve minutes. Yeah, that was maybe twelve minutes of plot and because it's only 12 minutes again it's one of those where it's like i'm just sitting here like well now what you know we're just that's just kind of it so yeah and that's that's the end of star wars visions we did it um i don't know what else to say about this one so uh thoughts on the season as a whole it, it, this has been a very interesting uh a very interesting thing and obviously you know we call it a season but they're honestly just nine separate short films you know like they're not they don't flow together as a show obviously um but it's it, it's been very interesting the the stories that have been told here um even if some of them are fairly similar to each other you know um i thought i heard the dog so i'm gonna go check on him real quick one sec Never mind, never mind. You just sneezed and I mistook that for something else. Anyway. Um, in terms of my favorites, uh, The Duel, just for its visual art style. Uh, the Village Bride, because it's got a bit more... Bit more it, it does the story better than The Duel. And obviously, all the art styles are great, but I love the art style of uh, The Duel. Village Bride, really, really good. The Ninth Jedi, I love the characters. And honestly, I could see an entire show, an entire anime series about uh, Kara and the others and stuff. Uh, the Elder was interesting. I liked uh, that pairing. You know, I mean... <sighs> Which was interesting because the Jedi in The Elder, I swear to God, he's almost exactly the same as the Jedi in this one, as Tsubaki, so... Yeah. Um, and Lapanocho was very interesting, not just because I'm, I've, I've apparently been outed as a furry now, uh, but I, it, it was an interesting story. A little strange that it's like, you know, just such, you know, the quick turn, but that's just because of the, you know, the pacing of the episode, the quick turn of Ocho. But it was a very interesting thing. I'd, I would actually like to see more of, you know, Lop's adventures and stuff like that. And not just because it made me a furry, all right? But yeah. In terms of my least favorites, um, 
the twins I thought was pretty standard, honestly. Good visuals, but a pretty standard story. Tatooine Rhapsody, I can't call, like, my favorite or my least favorite. That that one is just sort of the anomaly among the nine of these. Like, mainly because it didn't have a lightsaber fight at the end. Like, it was just this strange, you know, rock and roll concert. Like, that one is its own special oddity, basically. Um, T.O.B. 1, I just thought was very strange, you know? And then, yeah, last but not least, we have this one, Akakiri, which is okay, but it just sort of happens, you know? So, probably, if I was going to name my favorites, I would go with uh, The Ninth Jedi, The Village Bride, The Duel, uh, Lap and Ocho, and then The Elder. And then, special, special place for Tatooine Rhapsody then the twins and probably i'd i'd end off the list with uh akakiri i think this one is probably oh well akakiri and then i think tob one um so yeah that's probably how i would rank them but yeah um an interesting series again very very interesting to watch some of these have been really really great and some of them have happened you know and one of them made me a furry and what else can we expect in life except to be given good stuff, bad stuff, and to be turned into furries? Yeah. So, perhaps a bit of a shorter discussion, because I'm, I'm looking at my time. We haven't even hit 30 minutes on the recording yet. But, quite frankly, there's, not, there's nothing else to talk about. Like, there's nothing else to talk about with this episode, you know? Like, it, it was good, all things considered. It was good, but the boy it just happens like i i can't it's mainly i think it's because of the length because i can't get to know these characters at all so like when when subaki you know turns to the dark side and decides oh i guess there this is my fate and stuff like i can't really feel for the guy because I, I haven't really known him at all. Like, and I know it's strange because with the others, with the other episodes, I did feel like I got to know the characters. Like, I got invested with Kara or Lop or uh, the Jedi from uh, the Elder or um, or even uh, F in uh, the Village Bride. Like, I got, I felt like I got to know them enough to where I cared about those characters. But honestly. Subaki, there wasn't enough there. Like, if this had been maybe another ten minutes longer, I may have, I may have thought this was a lot better. But the fact of the matter is, they just sort of told a really, really quick story. Like, they, they basically this one told an anecdote without telling a story. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if there's ever a season two of Star Wars Visions. I guess we'll do that too. Uh, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let me know what you guys think about this one uh, and how you would, uh, how would you rank uh, all the episodes now that we've gone through all of them? How would you, uh, yeah, I guess just how would you rank them all? How would you, you know, what were your favorites, your least favorites, and Tatooine Rhapsody? <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Star Wars Visions reactions. You can go rewatch all of Season 1, or you can watch Season 1 of The Bad Batch, which is also on screen. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.